The man at the helm of one of the country's biggest sporting events, the Australian Grand Prix, has announced next year will be his last as chief executive. Andrew Westacott has been the driving force behind Formula One's increasing popularity in Australia, so his decision to stand down has come as a surprise. Georgia Simpson has the details. Fast and Furious Formula One is as popular as ever, but the man in charge of the Australian Grand Prix, Andrew Westacott, has decided the time is right for him to stand down. The sport has only grown in popularity under his watch, so his announcement has come as a surprise. Prior to presiding over one of the country's biggest sporting events, he was a chemical engineer making pet food. Next year's Grand Prix will be his 15th in charge and will remain at Albert Park long after Westacott steps down. We've secured an extension until 2037. I've been with the corporation since 2006, so I, I wouldn't see myself lasting 31 years uh, at the corporation. And so it's the right it's the right thing to do to make sure that the wonderful team, given the great state that the events in, um, lead into the future. In a major coup for the country's sporting capital, the Victorian state government has secured an extra two years of hosting rights for the Australian Grand Prix. And there's massive uh, competition for Formula One events around the world. There was going to be 24 races next year. There might still be, but China is, uh, is now off the calendar. And uh, it's a massive coup for Victoria to keep it for so many years. The event brings in big bucks. It's expected to inject $170 million into the Victorian economy. After a two-year hiatus, thanks to COVID, record crowds of 419,000 people descended trackside at Albert Park Lake. Next year, it's predicted there'll be even more. Organisers are preparing for 450,000 people over the four-day event. Next year, there'll be an added incentive for fans. Oscar Piastri will race in the Australian Grand Prix in Melbourne for the first time.